Triggering outbound calls and setting up campaigns has always been difficult with AI callers. It usually requires third-party software like Make or Zapier or a direct integration with your CRM system to trigger based on leads. There has never been an easy way to take a simple CSV file and begin calling each lead in the list. Well, now there is. Retail AI has just released batch calling, which allows us to upload a CSV file of leads with custom dynamic variables. This feature will allow you to monitor the status of the lead list and schedule calls all within one dashboard. So jumping straight into it, this right here is Retail AI. If you're not yet familiar with the platform, I've got a couple of other videos, building out solutions, building out agents on the retail platform that I definitely recommend checking out first. But I've gone ahead and I've swapped over to the batch call tab on the left here. And this is where we're able to consolidate and do all of our lead list uploading and sending out all these calls right here. So the first thing to note before you get started in doing these batch calls is that you do need to quickly set up a phone number so you can connect Twilio by going to the phone numbers tab right here and just connecting an, an agent through here and you just need to use uh, Twilio to connect a number or a different provider. You can do that through here and you do also need to create an agent because then you need to assign the outbound agent to that number. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you can go to the batch calling and it'll be ready to go. So once that's all ready to go, we're going to go ahead and click create a batch call here on that page. And what we're going to see is a whole bunch of options that allow us to configure this sort of campaign in a sense. So what you'll see at the top here is batch call name. This is just a sort of naming convention for yourself. So I might just type test list. Then below this, we've got from number. So this is the list of numbers that this particular account has on it. So this is a number that is on our account. And you can see here it's it's naming an agent that is associated with that number. So this is the random agent from a previous video assigned to this number. So as you can see here, we can now upload a CSV file of leads right here. We can drag and drop it. And this will upload it directly to this sort of campaign. And it's going to start to send out the calls from this. And you'll notice that there's also download the template at the top here. So you will need to download the template for this. So I'll just go ahead and download it and show what that looks like. So this right here is Excel. I've just gone ahead and opened up that template they provide us with. You can open this up in any platform, but I've just opened it up in Excel. And you'll see here that they've formatted it in a particular way for their system to recognize it, of course. So we can see here at the start, phone number. So this is where you're just gonna list out all of the phone numbers that we wanna call. And then we've also got some dynamic variables. So dynamic variables is for just sending in custom bits of data per lead. So if you've got a huge lead list and you've got a bunch of information for those leads that you wanna use and include in the particular call, that might be their name, last name, location, description, etc. We can include all of those values by using dynamic variables. So the first thing I might want to do is just change this dynamic variable and you can name this whatever you want, but I'll name this name for the person and for this number, I'm gonna type my name. And then for this, we might wanna type in location. Maybe we wanna use their address for whatever reason. And we could type 123 Main Street. So we could just type in whatever we want. And obviously if you had an existing lead list, you would just format that to be this exact format so that you could upload it to retail. So I've gone ahead and saved that Excel file and just uploaded it directly to the retail option right there. And you can see it is now populated everything that I just put in that particular sheet. So you can see here, we've got the phone number, which is populated right there. We've got my name and the location that's populated as well. So these are now variables that can be used within your agent. So if you go back to your agent, you can now refer refer to these particular variables and you can use these within the system. So if we wanted to refer to the caller by their first name, all we would need to do is just take this name variable, put some double brackets around it and put that into the agent and it would be able to refer to their name every time it calls up. So each individual number will have an individual different name and it will refer to that new name. So it's more personalized than just sending out the call without this information. I can also include a bunch more as well, like the location and address an email address or whatever we need. We can include all of that information through this as well. So once you've uploaded your lead list right under this, you've got when to send the calls. So we can either send them right now or we can schedule it for later. So if we wanted to schedule it for tomorrow, we could do so by just scheduling it in the calendar feature. Pretty simple. You just schedule it for when you want to, select your time zone and that'll go forth and start to send them out. Below this, we've even got an estimated time to complete the calls. And this is simply just an estimate based on how long it would take to complete the calls. Retail has a 20 call concurrency limit. So it is basing its estimation on the 20 call concurrency limit as well as an average call length of five minutes. So that is what it's estimating it at. Your calls should probably not go any longer than five minutes in the first place. So this is probably a pretty good conservative estimate for this. And then right below this, we've got purchase more concurrency. So if we wanted to go ahead 
purchase more concurrency. We didn't want the 20 core concurrency limit and we wanted to increase this to 40 to 50 to 60. You can do so here and we can actually increase the amount of uh, concurrency that we have. So if you just go into your billing tab, you'll see the 20 core concurrency limit at the top here and you can hit adjust limit and just begin to increase these if you need any more. And then that will just save, of course, back into the batch cooling and you'll get more concurrency and that should change your estimate to be quicker because you're obviously able to make more calls at the same time. And just to demo the estimated time a little bit better, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually duplicate this list, 427 leads or the exact same thing. It's uh, changed the address as well. So I'll go ahead and save this. And so now I've just uploaded the lead list of like 450 leads right here. You can see if I can drag all the way to the bottom, 426 leads in this lead list or with these numbers. And we can see here that it's now changed the estimate to 110 minutes. So that is now taking in account that the fact that we can call up to 20 people all at the same time and that an average call length could be around five minutes. It's estimating 110 minutes to get through all of these leads. So you can now imagine how many calls we can actually make within a single day. It takes 110 minutes to get through 426 leads. And obviously a lot of these people probably won't even pick up in the first place. And so you're obviously not going to have a five minute call length. So we can really scale this quite a lot bigger than it's showcasing here. This is really the, the most conservative estimate if every single person picks up and goes on for five minutes, likely not to happen, but that is what the estimate would be. Also, another thing to note, if you look in the top left here, you'll see batch call cost of 0 0.005 per dial. So obviously not everybody is going to pick up. Not all of these calls are going to go for a minute plus. Uh, and in this case, it's just letting you know that the batch call cost is uh, this amount per dial. So as soon as you dial someone, that is the cost that it's going to be. So you're not obviously going to be charged for the full on 13 cent per minute cost. So you're obviously not going to be charged for that full minute if it doesn't go for the full minute and it just dials and hangs up or leaves the voicemail this would be the cost for that. If you are a business owner and you've been looking at these AR phone systems, definitely don't hesitate to schedule a call with me below.